that's what you gotta do when you're looking for cod, man. This is what I go through, baby. I'm here at the Jersey Shore. But today seems like a really good day for togging. It's sunny. It is about 45 degrees today. We have 50 miles per hour winds from the west. So the water condition is about 50 degrees right now and it's low tide. The water is very cold. It's gonna get cooler now from now on. I'm gonna see if I could catch some tog. Um, I'm gonna be using some green crabs. I'm sure there's some tog here, some keepers left. So it's about 12 o'clock right now. It's gonna be about four hours of me fishing until it gets too dark. So um, I'm gonna try my best to catch a keeper, guys. Let's go fishing, guys. Cut the crabs. Got some white crabs here that I caught before. Green crabs, huge. Let me show you what I'm working with. I'm using my eight foot Lamy Glass GLS B-Wad. It's rated for half to two ounce. Paired up with my VR50, 20 pound braid, barrel swivel, 40 pound monofilament. Got a size two or three bait holder hook. And I'm gonna be working with a one ounce right now because currently is low tide, not much current. So I got my bait box. All right, so I'm gonna be looking for the tog right now. I'm gonna see if there's any bites. What I do, I put it in the leg socket and I either go out another leg socket or I come out like the gill part. I like that part and I take out the shell just to get the scent out there, so. All right guys, so let's see. Let's see what we could do. I'm gonna have my drag pretty uh, kind of on the tight side. You don't want it crazy tight. But if you have a too loose for blackfish, they're gonna run with it and they run through the rocks. And once they get you on there, it's very hard to get it back out. So I'm sure it's gonna happen to you. So what I do, you see this? I have it on the kind of tight side. All right, so I'm gonna be throwing my rig out far and have the current bring it in uh, towards the beginning of the rocks if you cast too close your rig is gonna just fall in the rocks here and it's gonna get stuck so you don't want that to happen so i'm gonna cast far being the safe side and when it drops when you feel bottom close the bail or you could close it right before i'll show you right here so let's go i'm gonna cast over here All right, nice cast. Gonna let it drop. Okay, as soon as it drops, I'm not gonna just let it uh, just float around, okay? I'm gonna have my rod tip up and kind of have a uh, tension on it. You don't want it slack on it. All right, they're biting. They're fish here today. That's a good thing, guys. So, there we go, getting some bites. There we go. You got a fish on, guys. There we go. There we go. Let's go. Let's go. The small one. Try my best to release it. Good. There we go. Little tug, baby. First cast. Woo. Yeah, he's very cold. Fish is very cold right now. Nice, guys. All right. Okay. So I got a fish in the first cast. Hopefully that's not a jinx. Okay, let's do it. Cast out. Let it drop. Okay. Reel in the slack. 
The good thing today is that the current's not too strong. That's good for me. Because it's not gonna, it's easier to fish in this kind of conditions. But, uh, you know, and the fish might not like it. Fish likes, you know, rough currents. And I had, I caught like the biggest fish in, in very rough current and really bad conditions. I don't have any slack on my line. And I'm gonna stay very still. If I don't get any bites for a good 10 seconds, I'll kind of move it forward towards me until I get some bites. Sometimes it takes a couple of seconds more to get some bites. Right now, I think I got a little bite, but nothing too crazy. A lot of these togs are really tight, close to the rocks here. Sometimes they're out there, but right now, the water looks like it's just turned and it's coming in. I'm not getting any bites here. So it's okay. I'm gonna cast somewhere else. Cast the far. Touchdown. Have my rod up, tip up. Have direct connection to a weight. Don't let it just, you know, roll around too much. All right, getting some bites. About 10 o'clock to me, getting some bites. So I'm gonna stay really still when I start getting bites. And when the fish takes it, pulls, that's where I'm gonna set the hook, guys. All the small little bumps, you just wanna kinda let it go. There we go, the shot. There we go, he's out there, the shot. Woohoo! It's a nice one here. Nice one. He's about I say about 13 inches female. There you go, guys. 50 degrees water, see right here, and it's still tog, man. Let's not talk. They're still here, guys. There you go. It's all good. It's gonna be a good day. I feel like I'm gonna catch some nice ones today. Okay. Cast it out, let it sink. Oh, getting bites already. Man, it's a good day, guys. It's not like this every day. Oh, got it. Oh, no. Got me stuck. Oh, he got me stuck. See? When this happens, let let it run. Oh man, my sinker is really bad. I have the fish hooked, but let the fish run with it, guys. Let him run with it. Give it some slack so he doesn't feel any tension in his mouth. If he feels tension in his mouth, he's probably gonna stay stuck and stay in that position. So Give us some slack, okay? See, he's leaving, he's leaving. See, he's taking. Let him go with it, okay? And let him try to get you on snag. Sometimes it works. See, he's taking it, slowly taking it. it might take a couple of minutes. Sometimes if you don't have the patience to wait for it, just, you know, pull it in and put a new rig on. Yeah, it's snack pretty good, so I'm just gonna pull it, guys. Man, felt like a good one, too. There we go. There we go. Fish on, guys. Whoo. 
another nice one man they're very active today very very active wow cast after cast literally yo my fourth fish in like 15 minutes guys let it go let's do it again That's pretty much straight out, guys. All the way out there. Come on. Some crazy fish here today. So I'm looking around. I'm looking around where the bites are. But they're not there, it's okay. At least you know they're not out there. You know what I mean? So you can eliminate that on your plan. Oh man, there's bites there. Oh man. Oh man, they're out there. Very close to the rocks. Oh, very <gasps> Got it. Yo. Oh, he's fighting like crazy because he's so far away. <laughs> Let's go. I got it. Oh, he's a nice keeper. He's a keeper size, guys. Woohoo! Oh, I'm gonna go get it, guys. Oh, he's a big one, guys. Big one. No joke. Yo! Yo! Oh, guys, look at this. Let's go! Nice guys, nice. Yo, oh my god. Whoa. Look at this crazy catch, guys. Amazing right now. I'm so excited right now. Yo. Look at that. Guys, look at that. Let's measure it. 17 17 and a quarter he's one fat tog guys nice man he was biting biting so good too let's go yeah let's go baby let's go that's how you do it guys that's how you do it 17 and a quarter yeah, baby. measure this guy
14 and a half though. On the jig. The water's getting a lot rougher right now. Tide is coming in. Getting some good bites. Oh yeah. Let's go. Come on. Take it. Oh man, it's a good one. Come on. Another good one, guys. Oh, man. Yo! <laughs> yo! This is a big one, yo. That's what I'm talking about, man. This is definitely a keeper. Another good size. Oh, man. 16 and a half, guys. 16 and a half. A really nice size. Woo! Let's go. It's crazy right now. I caught two nice keepers one being 17 and a half and the other one being like 16 and a half and another one around like 15 and a half i think um, so i'm taking three fish home today and um i call it a pretty successful day even though weather is cold like this and the water temperature is 50 degrees try to come out here on a sunny day a little warmer uh, and then maybe you could catch some nice keeper top um today was a pretty good day there's still tug out there so don't be hesitant because the water temperature dropped down and people are saying there's not enough keepers out inland uh there are man there are a lot of them out here i'm gonna try to get you a little more footage next time so um get out there guys thanks for watching <laughs>